I'm gonna give it a whip. Aloha! Everybody's there. <laughs> Me. And then Here's my outline. Here's my outline. <laughs> Okay. Food. Every day you eat food. But for most Americans, where their food comes from is a mystery. Most people will tell you food comes from the supermarket. But how it got there, the food chain from seed to store is invisible. My name is Maria Minerva. My topic starts with a seed. And not just any seed, but a seed designed in a laboratory. A GMO. GMO has raised tremendous controversies around the world. Whether GMO is good or bad is not my topic. The goal here is to present facts and let you generate your own opinion. My talk covers the science behind GMO papaya and the consequences of GMO to our health and our INA environment. GMO, genetically modified organism. GMO are crops that have been altered from their natural state by means of genetic engineering. Dr. Lauren Pang, a consultant of the World Health Organization, defines genetic engineering as taking a gene from one species or even the same species and putting it in another organism. So it could be man to man, man to goat, or man to tomato. GMO are also known as GE, or genetically engineered, or transgenic organism. Genetic engineering is not the same as the traditional selective breeding. In Lux Anderson's article about GMO, he describes the selective breeding technique. He said that you can mate one variety of pig with a different variety of pig to create a new variety. But with genetic engineering, scientists are breaking the, breaching the species barriers. Uh, an example is taking a gene from an arctic flounder and putting it in a tomato to create a frost-resistant tomato. Introduction of GMO to Hawaii. In the early 1990s, a disease lethal to papaya the papaya ring spot virus began decimating the papaya plantations in Hawaii. Nothing seemed to stop the virus, not physical barriers, not chemical pesticides. Hawaiian farmers were resigned to the idea that the $45 million papaya industry in Hawaii would be gone forever. Do during my interview with Dr. Dennis Gonsalves, the Hawaiian molecular biologist who led the scientific team that developed the transgenic papaya. He said that the idea that inspired him to develop the transgenic papaya is the scientific concept called the pathogen-derived resistance. From this concept, he developed a hypothesis that if you could take a small part of the pathogen, which is the papaya ring spot virus, and put it in the papaya, then you can create a papaya that is resistant to the virus. This is similar to vaccinating a person against a virus. An example is the chicken pox vaccine, where we receive a weakened chicken pox virus to make us resistant to the disease. The only difference is in transgenic papaya, the virus becomes a part of its DNA and in humans, we develop antibodies with no change in DNA. How do you get genes into plants? Scientists in Cornell University developed a crude but effective way called the gene gun. The ammunition is the genes, the target is the plant, and the shot is propelled by compressed gas. The process works like this. First, Tens of thousands of desired viral genes are made. Next, they are mixed with tiny tungsten balls to which the genes stick. When the balls are fired, the genes are carried along into the leaf. Some of the gels get inserted into some of the cells. These transformed cells are cultured in a laboratory and grown into new plants 
called the transgenic plants. Using this technique, Dr. Dennis Gonsalves grew hundreds of transgenic papayas. Before the transgenic papayas are considered safe for commercial production, it went through a lot of tests. And based on the result of the tests, in 1997, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the, Enver the Environmental Protection Agency, and the Food and Drug Administration approved the commercial production of GM papaya. In 1998, the first GM papaya was commercially grown in Hawaii. Is GM papaya safe to eat? Both the Food and Drug Administration and the Environmental Protection Agency have declared that GM papayas are safe for human consumption. However, some scientists still express concern over safety of GM papayas. Dr. Janet Cutter, a Greenpeace scientist based in the United Kingdom said, since GE papaya contains a gene from the ring spot virus, there is a risk that when it is infected with other virus viruses, it can produce new virus strains. Another health concern is the allergenicity. A recent report shows that the papaya ring spot virus called protein is a potential allergen because it contained a string of amino acids identical to a known allergen. Though there are many anecdotal health concerns against GM papaya, I was unable to find any diseases directly related to their consumption. Environmental impact of GM papaya. During my interview with Dr. Dennis Gonsalves, I asked him if GM papaya will limit the biodiversity of the species. Dr. Gonsalves felt that GM papaya has increased the biodiversity of the papaya. Before the virus came, 95% of papaya grown in Hawaii were solo variety, and the other 5% were camilla and sunrise. After GMO was introduced, the variety of papaya increased to include the rainbow and sun up. To determine if there is a contamination of non-GMO papaya seeds by GMO seeds, a research study was conducted by Hawaii Seeds. 10,000 seeds from non-GMO growing locations in the island of Hawaii, Oahu, and Kauai were collected. And then the results showed that GMO contamination of papaya seeds on the island of Hawaii is at 50% on the island of Oahu is greater than 5%, and on Kauai is only a trace of 0.01%. Even the seed supply of non-GMO papaya seed at UH Hilo is also contaminated at a level less than 0.1%. Conclusion. On the positive side, GM papaya was developed because of an existing need. Without GM papaya, the industry in Hawaii would have been wiped out. The GM papaya has been subjected to rigorous testing, the data is published, and there have been no proven health concerns. The GM papaya has also increased the biodiversity of the species. On the negative side, GM papaya has only been with us for a short time, so the long-term effects to human and nature at large is unknown. Whether GMO is an experiment on humanity or a method to increase the fertility of the earth on an ever crowded planet, this only time will tell. Thank you.